Okay, so first of all, I'll click somewhere inside the table. Then I'll go to the data tab and I'll click on from table slash range. This will automatically select the whole of the table and then I'll click on OK. And this opens up the Power Query Editor. In my first column, I have the date and the time. Then in the next column, I have the compounds that I am measuring. And then I have two value columns, the peak height and the peak area. In order to pivot a table in Power Query that has multiple value columns, I first need to hold down Control and select both the peak height and the peak area columns. Then I'll go to the Transform tab and I will unpivot these columns. This creates a new column called Attribute, which has peak height and peak area repeating over and over again. And now all of the numbers that were previously split across two columns are combined together into one column called value. Now I'm going to select the compound column and hold down control and select the attribute column which we just made and now I will merge these columns together. I'm going to make the separator be a space and then I'll leave the column name as the default and OK. And now it has merged these two columns together. So I have the compound first and then whether it is the peak height or the peak area. Now I'll leave this column selected and go to pivot column. And we need to change the values column to be the column that we have called value, which has all of the numbers in it and OK. And now the table has been pivoted. So we have the date and time in the first column. And then in the next columns, we have the peak height and the peak area for the same compound. And that pattern repeats all the way along the table. So we go back and forth between the peak height and the peak area. OK, so in this video, I have shown you how to pivot a table in Power Query, which has multiple value columns. And that is everything.